how's it going guys today we are going to be looking at the casio mt210 miniature keyboard some cool facts i got this one at goodwill for 15 bucks which is kind of funny i'm kind of like that i just get random keyboards for cheap it's kind of what i do another fun fact is actually the sounds on this particular keyboard remind me of the sounds on the casio ht700 i'll throw a picture on screen but that is a much more expensive miniature Casio keyboard. This one goes for maybe 50 bucks. I don't know. I'm not really well versed in the Casio MT210 market. So this one's maybe 40, 50 bucks, but the Casio HT700 is like 150 bucks. And that's kind of, you know, like three times the price. So maybe save yourself some money, get you this one instead of the expensive cool one. So yeah the frug frugality so yeah let's jump right in and let's take a look at the casio mt210 so starting off you know this is kind of this is what it looks like nice little cinematic shot you know casio tone mt210 it has the miniature keys on the low octave and a half it has the casio chord section time to take a look at that casio chord has all the normal stuff on off fingered and then also it does have the one, two, three, and four sliders for both bass and chord. You don't usually see sliders that can affect the type of chords that the Casio chord plays. It usually just kind of does whatever and maybe you can minor a chord, but for it to have different variations is kind of interesting and unique to this. It's not specifically unique to the MT210, but it is kind of interesting and definitely an addition to why you could get this keyboard versus some other keyboard. So moving on, we've got the drum section. All the drum sounds are pulse code modulation, PCM samples. They're not synthesized. They're not very interesting. Also, the drum and tone selections on this keyboard use this weird button that kind of stays down when you click it. So if you see there, I click it down and it stays down. And then the next one pops it up. So it's like saving what preset you had selected physically instead of like digitally, which is kind of interesting and not super common to other keyboards. So yeah, another little quirk that the MT210 specifically has. So we move into the tone selection. It's got 20 different tones with a alternate select button. So you have a tone per button you select it, it chooses a different tone. Standard procedure, just weird buttons. So then we move on to the effects section and actually one thing that this keyboard has that a lot of other cheaper Casios doesn't have is an actual quite big effect selection. It's got three different effects. It's got two different types of vibratos. It's got sustain and reverb and it's also got stereo chorus which sounds quite nice. So that's kind of interesting. It's also got a power button there right by the effects. So then also move on to the sliders. We got a main volume slider, a rhythm volume slider, a tempo slider, and an accompaniment accompaniment volume slider. The, the tempo slider is actually quite fun to play with. And then also, you know, stereo. So then we take a look at the outputs. It's got a tuner from sharp to flat, 3.5 millimeter jack in, and then also the line out in 9 volt DC negative, just like any other Casio. So then other sides really doesn't have anything. And then on the back, it's got a nice big Casio logo, so you can show off your big Casio. On the back, it's got, you know, battery cover, and it's also got this placard with the, not really a placard, but it's got the little thing with all the info on it, DC 9 volt, use AC adapter, made in Japan, all kind of cool stuff like that. So yeah, now kind of the part you've all been waiting for. You know, all this all this big talk about this freaking synth. Has it even been a synth? Who knows? But all this big talk about this Casio. What does it sound like?
So, that was the Casio MT210. Was it any good? Was it absolutely terrible? Let me know in the comments. Would you buy one? Would you sell yours if you had one? Who knows? So, yeah, this video is probably dragging on. Most likely because it's over a minute and made by Beatty. But, it's probably pretty cool, right? Casio MT10. Sorry if this was kind of crap. This was my first, like, actual review. So, I tried to pick a synth that was mildly, like, unimportant. But, yeah, Casio MT210.